morning everyone welcome back to another weekly reading vlog it is 5 45 a.m on tuesday again with the really really early morning starts to these videos i just got a few minutes to kill before work again so i thought i'd start this vlog now i finished the way i used to be i think i talked about that in the last reading vlog but i finished that on sunday and I got a little bit farther into El Enchanted on Monday and a little bit this morning too. I'm about 30% into it. I'm expecting I should be able to finish it tonight. And hello, it is Wednesday late afternoon. It's almost 3 p.m. I just got home from work for the day. I have tomorrow off, thank God, because I desperately need it if I want to get anything YouTube related done. Um, I have to utilize my days off now, um, but I just wanted to tell you that I finished Ella Enchanted yesterday. It was really good. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, it wasn't quite a five-star read, but it was a four-star read, so it was still really enjoyable. Um, mostly my thoughts, I could not stop comparing it to the movie. Whenever I would reach something that was different in the book, and there were a lot. There were so many things that were different in the book from the movie, which I prefer the book more, which usually happens, but I like I appreciate the movie for what it is. It's making fun of itself and all the tropes that were very popular in Hollywood at that time. It's basically making fun of that, um, but as an adaptation, it is not very good. <laughs> it's just not, um, but anyways, so I finished Ellen Enchanted, and the last book, or second to last, no, this is the last book for the Believe-a-thon, Read-a-thon I have to read, which I talked about, I think, in the last vlog, but it's called The Derby Daredevils, Kenzie Kickstarts a Team by Kit Rosewater, and it's only like 125 pages, so I don't see why I can't finish it tonight. Hi, so it is now 9.20 a.m. on Thursday. I didn't finish this book yesterday. No, I only got 30 pages in and then was like overcome with exhaustion because I hadn't gotten a proper night's sleep in the last like three days. Still didn't sleep all that well last night, so we'll see how much reading I get done today. Hopefully enough. Um, and I also miscalculated the prompts that I have left to complete for Believe-a-thon. They're not completed with this one. This one only completes two prompts and I have one more after that that I need to complete the readathon entirely. So I also found out that the Goose Girl is um, included in Audible membership, which I do still have. So I just downloaded that and I'd be like, well, this this will count. This counts, sure. So that'll be the final book that I read as well as this one to complete the Believe-a-thon, Read-a-thon before going into Tome Topple Round 13. And I cannot wait for that. I'm actually gonna make a mini TBR video for that Read-a-thon specifically. And I'm really looking forward to doing that. Um, yep, so that's basically all I have to say for today. I have today off of work. So I will be able to get a lot more uh, fun things done, like reading, and get a lot more reading done, and probably knitting done as well. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of watching the weather outside, praying that it not snow again, because at this point the roads are plowed enough to be manageable. So as long as it doesn't snow again, it'll be fine. <laughs> but... Anyways, that's all I have to say. I'm going to make myself some coffee to drink while I read. Otherwise, I will be just overcome with exhaustion again, which is not how I want to start off my day. So I will check back in with you later when I've hopefully finished this book. I think I'll probably finish Goose Girl tomorrow sometime because it's a medium-ish sized length audiobook. It's about nine hours that I've left. So I'm not likely to finish it today, but hopefully tomorrow I will be able to. And then I can film my TBR video for Tome Topple and prepare for that 
part of the month going forward. Funnily enough, I expected month-long readathons to actually take me the month to do. And that has not been my experience thus far. Alright, so it's about 4 p.m. now. I finished this book. It was okay. It wasn't anything mind-blowing. It was just okay. The main character was very, very immature. And so I think that kind of led to my overall rating of three stars on Goodreads. Um, but yeah, aside from that, it was fast, enjoyable, just not something that really blew my mind compared to the rest of the books that I read for this readathon. They were all very good. So this one was just kind of mediocre. But I'm pretty sure The Goose Girl will be a much bigger improvement. I haven't gone too far into it yet today. Um, as much as I thought I would, but I'll be listening to it for a few hours tonight at least, I think. Um, so yeah, aside from that, that's all I have to say for this day's productivity. Um, I will check in with you tomorrow. Good morning. It is Saturday at about 9.30 a.m. I cannot tell you how unbelievably weird it is to have a weekend day off of work because it almost never happens anymore, unfortunately. But I realized at some point yesterday that I still have the equipment I needed for my previous uh, major in college. I used to be a sign language interpreting major, and so for that you needed a way to be able to we were required to have some kind of DVD player equipment to hook up to our computers to be able to do most of the homework. So I still had mine and I find that that works perfectly well with my library version of the audiobook for Thunderhead. So since it is officially the beginning of Tome Topple round 13, I have been listening to Thunderhead this morning. I finished The Goose Girl earlier, like really, really early this morning. I was awake at five and so I just figured I only have a few hours left I may as well just finish it before I start with the big tomes uh, so I finished Goose Girl I really really enjoyed it it was such a good read and I feel again like I'm just not nearly as with it I guess as far as guessing the twists go because I guess like absolutely nothing that happened in that book I think that's more on me than it is how the predictability of the book itself. I'm pretty sure it's just that I was not uh, as interactive with the book, I guess. I don't know. I was just too invested in the story to try and guess what the heck was going on ahead of time. Anyway, so I finished that book. I gave it five stars. I'm officially done with the Believeathon readathon. I finished all the prompts, which again, I'm just like patting myself on the back because I don't usually complete readathons like this. This is now the second one I've completed since starting this channel, so I'm just having a blast. I don't know how much. I seriously doubt I will finish all of the prompts for Tome Topple, the readathon. I doubt it. Um, but for now, I'm just taking my set TBR that I just uh, established yesterday, and I'm going to work on finishing that. And if I finish that and have time somehow to be able to possibly at least start another book, I'll draw again from my TBR, jet, my TBR bag. I'll draw from that again, and whatever book I get will be what I am start reading at least, and hopefully I can manage to incorporate that into my December TBR because it'll this readathon goes pretty close to the end of the month and even if I started a big tome on the 27th like at the latest uh, I seriously doubt I'd be able to finish it completely before the end of November and come deciding my December TBR time um, so we'll we'll see how that goes but anyways I will continue listening to Thunderhead and probably at some point today I'll pick up Orange and start reading that as well. Um, but for now I feel like playing some Sims because I've been recently really into playing that again. Just to kind of relax and wind and enjoy my day off. Um, it's pretty cold outside, otherwise I would definitely go for a walk. Um, 
but we'll, we'll see how that goes. All right, good morning. It is Monday morning at about 10 a.m. I just woke up, took a shower, got dressed, uh, listened to the audiobook for Thunderhead a little bit. I finished Orange last night. It was a very good read. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that it made me cry quite a few times. Um, but yeah, so that's book one for the Tome Topple done. Um, I, as I said, I've continuously listened to Thunderhead. I'm about 40% through it or something along those lines. And I plan on starting Deathless Divide at some point today um, or the next day. So I'll mostly be doing chores and things whilst I read and edit this week's vlog and upload it. So I just wanted to wrap it up here. Thank you all so much for watching. Comment down below what you guys read this week. If you've gotten any snow where you live, let me know in the comments. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all soon in the next video. Bye.